Hello. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about persona maps and how you can start to integrate persona maps on story maps. And this is going to introduce a new feature that we've launched recently with Sweet CX. So it's really easy to use. So this should be a really quick tutorial and hopefully useful to you. So what I'm showing you right now is a typical persona map. Every project in Sweet CX comes with 13 uh, persona or segment maps for you to use as you wish. They're user defined. In this case, I'm using uh, the persona Molly Millennial. So this would be not necessarily something that came from a cluster analysis of my customer database, not necessarily a persona, but just a, um, or sorry, not necessarily a segment, but a persona of some type of person who lives in the world and who uses my products or services. So I need to understand a little bit more about this persona. So just taking a look at Molly Millennial, you can see attributes about her here at the top. We have a picture of her. We have about um, the preferred media, her, her preferred format for her media. She wants her smartphone and she's gonna be looking at Instagram some of her key influencers or things about her, her access to media and or devices. You'll notice that some of the more traditional old school media is not on the chart. So she's not using a desktop. Not a lot of people still use a desktop. Um, she's definitely not subscribed to TV or cable. She's gonna be using streaming services, her mobile device, a laptop when she's at work, and then probably a tablet when she's on her free time. Um, things about her goals and motivations, things that she's doing, uh, thinking and feeling, places where she shops. This is a retail example, so the shopping components are kind of relevant here. And other attributes about her. So in large part, when you're working with personas, you don't need to make this up. You can usually just search the internet and find all kinds of interesting things about the different personas that you're looking at. Um, in this particular case, I found this persona, Molly the Millennial, on the modernnonprofit.com. And then I also did some additional research on millennials in general, and I was specifically looking into their spending habits. So since we're looking into retail and we're focusing on Molly Millennial and how she's using products or services or buying behaviors, this would be relevant. And this is a pretty recent report updated in 2019. So here's where you can get some additional information. Now, on the persona map, you'll see we have a series of touches across the life cycle phase here. These would be maybe the key or most important touches that you wanna focus on just for the persona map, since the persona map is a smaller version of a larger story map. And then um, I threw some metrics in here, just a couple facts about millennials. So when were they born? They were born between 1982 and 2000. They account for 83.1 million um, people in the US and collectively, they spend $600 billion a year. So this is actually a huge um, buying segment and probably why a lot of people are interested in shifting their focus to start marketing a little bit better to millennials. Although I believe all the different personas are have strong buying power, um, this is just one of them. So now that I've done my persona map, and the way that I loaded all these attributes was simply by going to edit this map, and then you can sort of just click through all the different fields available here on the left-hand side, and you're just gonna be entering the information here. It's very easy to use this um, inline editing and then you just hit save, and then when you're done, you close out, and then here's your map. And then some of these elements have just been added additionally, and they came from the um, storytelling elements library. And here's where you can go get sticky notes and things like the light bulb and anything else that you think would be interesting to help you tell the story. So now that I've done my persona map, I'm going to leave the persona map and go to my larger story map. So this is my larger, you could call this a layered map. So this is my story map and I have a story up at the top here with some key interactions or touches. Then I have a pain point report. So just below here is where I'm identifying various pain points that are happening or occurring at these different touches across the journey. I have an emotional report here and then I have a findings report and some statistics at the bottom. So the new feature that we've added recently is the ability to drop a summary of your persona or segment on the story map itself. So now anytime someone goes to read this map, they understand that this is a story map. It has lots of components to it, but my key focus for this story map is going to be this segment or persona. 
So the way that I got this segment of Persona to show on my story map, I just went into add a storytelling element. And then there's a new section down here called Personas Segments. If you click on that, this will open up the Persona or Segment Library that you have in your project. And you can see I have at least three of them defined. And I have a number of them that I haven't built yet. That's why they're just labeled segment four through 13. As soon as I define these segments or persona maps in my project, then they will become available for me to add to my map. So you're just going to pick the one that you're interested in. You click, you double click on it to add it to the map, and then it will show up. And that's what I did to get Molly Millennial on my story map. So that's it. It's a new feature. I believe we've rolled this out to everyone. If you are interested um, in learning more about this or talking more about creating good persona maps and how you can integrate them into your story maps, then we'd be happy to help. Please reach out and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.